was saying like you know living in victoria and and it was like they'd go somewhere and they'd learn something or they they'd go to another jam or some other city or whatever and they would kind of be exposed to new things but then they'd come back to victoria and go back to that like isolation kind of thing mm -hmm. close themselves off again and be like okay we have this new stuff okay let's work with it in this environment it's not like constant uh constantly being like bombarded by new things and new styles and this kind of stuff it's like they could take that back and then take time to develop it and create something new yeah yeah i i actually think yeah like mainly my mentality like fundamentally it's very similar to what you just said like i think like you should always look inside of you rather than look outside of you kind of thing hmm. but then at the same time um you know my big influence as a b-boy of course like vancouver and local scene because i started out there mm -hmm. and i think my foundation is still there mm -hmm. in ways of thinking especially but my I think that's mm, the second biggest, well, like as big influence for me is once I came back to Japan and now I live in Kyoto and like my best friends are like body carnival mm -hmm. whose mentality are quite different. <laughs> yeah. Quite different. Yeah. Like, but then it's really interesting, like, you know, like Kazuki Rock. Mm -hmm. Like, he's probably known to be one of the most unique people in the world yeah. today or like uh assassin yeah, yeah. the you know yeah, yeah crazy flexible yeah yeah, yeah. Break and everything. <laughs> one thing i was really surprised when i first started talking to them especially kabuki is like you know, or a lot of people ask him, like, how do you come up with those moves and everything? Like, how do you practice and everything? Then, I don't know, now he might be changing, but like, at least for a long time, he was like, watch a lot of YouTube video. Hmm. Watch a lot of people's moves. Hmm. So you know what's out there. But then, like, of course, like, you don't, you don't want to look like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, really, I guess, actually really study them. And like how they are making up these moves, like under what kind of concept behind uh, and apply it to myself. Like in Kazuki Rock case, like I have long arms and like super flexible like hips and everything. Uh -huh. Taking advantage of this, like how can I change? Mm the movie my way kind of thing i'm guessing <laughs> yeah 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 then like you know you know the outcome like some yeah. weird crazy stuff so so his approach at the beginning was just to watch a lot of stuff right yeah yeah and then well, take it in his, his own way and yeah so like that was fun. like totally new for me yeah yeah it's, yeah and i I'm think like, that way of thinking now is the standard uh, not to say that people are not original but like well it's kind in a way it's kind of like what i was saying when you when you mix everything 
it ends up being kind of the same. It, the product is the same thing. You get that kind of gray <laughs> brown, right? When everyone yeah. is taking from all of these same sources, even if it's everything, but they're watching like all the popular people or whatever, and they're taking all these things, like people end up doing kind of the same stuff. But when you have someone who's like, yeah, not necessarily taking from a lot of things, but like maybe more specific, I think, in what they're mm -hmm. choosing to be inspired by or whatever, then you get just really strange people. Like, well, it's hard for me to say because I don't know their influences, but like, like <laughs> Mark. Mark is a good example of like, you know, a lot of that stuff is like, yeah, just his own, his own way of thinking and like maybe how he grew up and, and his own mentalities that he's developed over the years and he'll might mm -hmm. like a move, but it gets reproduced in it's like Mark way of his way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. And so, yeah, when, I don't know. Who knows, who knows what the right way of creating is, but yeah, that's kind of what yeah. I think is like, if you're more specific in what you do, you can come up with more unique stuff, I guess. Yeah, and, you know, kind of relating to that, like, um, when I first came back to Japan, I, like, B-boy scene wide, it was a, kind of big culture shock in a way mm -hmm. because I, I got actually really confused and like I kind of didn't know what direction I should improve to you know I, I yeah. kind of got into that phase too yeah like you know we're talking about originality now but I felt like um I was trying you know, like famous friend, like it's not what you do, but it's about how you do it. Mm -hmm. Like I was really focusing on, you know, trying, like I was really trying to be original uh, in every, everything I do. Uh, like just the one top rock step or like just six steps, CC, whatever, yeah. like my way, yeah. kind of original. I was looking for that. Uh -huh. But then, when I came back to Japan, like, well, like 2008. Yeah. Um, I feel like, I might be wrong, but I feel like the originality here was different. Originality means like original moves so or uh, different to move. It's about the move. Mm -hmm that other people don't do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, and also the scene being really big here, mm -hmm. like nowadays it's getting, like it's getting scattered, that's the right word, like. Oh, really? There are more and more, yeah, there are more and more jumps everywhere. So like, I think competitors, number of competitors in each jam is smaller. But like when I actually first came back, like 2008, nine, like you go into a two on two battle, there are like 200 and plus competitors. Huh, that's interesting. I never thought about that. And of course the prelim round is like, you know, you have to compete against like 20 others, yeah. right? Yeah. And you only have one round to show a good stuff. Yeah. And my case, I was not good enough to stand out with just doing basic moves uh, yeah. with my own originality. And while others are like throwing like some, I don't know, crazy flexible style, or like crazy air flare directly onto your head kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's what where I got really confused. Like, should I maybe learn 
bigger move. Mm. Because, you know, I go to a jam, I only have one chance to dance. And like, of course, I have cypher and everything. Cypher, sure, like, I can have a lot of fun, but like, back then, especially, you have a different story. Like, when I go to the competition, I want to do well in the competition, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So there, I was kind of like, that's where I couldn't be like so straight up, like, oh, I'm a, I don't care, like, I be enjoying Cypher. Like, if I was that guy, maybe it was different. Mm-hmm. But maybe, no, I don't care about Cypher. I be really into competition. So I will practice the bigger move. Mm. If I was like that, I could have been different. But like I was in between. I didn't know which is the right direction for me. Mm-hmm. Really confused. Yeah. 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 Um, I guess like after all, it's all good. It was like a development process. It was a learning experience after all, yeah. but. Yeah, I lost my point. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something very important to me, but yeah, lost it. Oh.